Now, the national chairman of Johesu Josiah Bibilome Mumole rather joins me now from Abuja for more on this industrial action. Good to have you on the News at 10 tonight. So, first off, let me get your reaction on the federal government's statement that the planned industrial action by your union is illegal and is in clear breach of the ILO principles and conventions on the strike. What's your take on this? Uh, thank you. First, uh, let me say good evening to Nigerians. I want to state clearly that uh, the federal government position is not in tandem with the principles of uh, collective bargaining and the tripartite uh, um, system where uh, social justice is uh, paramount. Um, I want to say clearly that uh, our strike is not illegal. We have given the 15 days, mandatory 15 days that has are required by Section 43 of the Labor Act, and the Ministry knows that. Secondly, they are, we, you all are aware that uh, for about two years we've not been on strike, and uh, during the COVID-19 period, we contributed our own resources to providing PPEs, and uh, even for the public and for our own people to protect our members. That is an extreme um, exhibition of uh, uh, patriotism. So for the government or the ministry to now brand us as in insensitive and uh, not uh, being uh, patriotic, then the question should be, why have they not implemented the salary adjustment that we agreed with them, we entered the agreement with them since 2017, that they agreed to implement in five, the, uh, five weeks? 2017 to now is not five weeks. Why have they not implemented, why, have they, why are they owing Salaries, April, May, and other uh, we tell salaries of our members. After the government invited us to come up to support the government in fighting corruption, and we blew genuine whistle. And then, rather than rewarding our members in FMC and other places, they have withheld their salaries since uh, 2018, uh, 2016 to that now. So the question now is, who is fooling who? Now they they rush into court talk about ILO convention. ILO Convention also pre uh, prescribes real good salary, decent work, decent work for the workers, for employees. Have they also met the ILO conditions as regards to the um, their wages, minimum wage? Have they? Somebody should not just quickly run to, let me tell you, um, uh, sisters, um, Nigerians are aware that we have been very, very patient. All right. Now, in as, as much as you've been patient, today, apologies for interrupting your floor thoughts, or floor thoughts now. Yeah. In as much as we, you've been patient enough, but don't you think perhaps you need to shift grounds or are there plans to shift grounds because the people will largely suffer even in the midst of this pandemic? Don't you think about this? In the, in the deepest part of the pandemic, you can understand that even as we are provoked as we are, we shaved all actions. But we later discovered, recently, the same government that is saying they, have, they are apprehending strike or whatever, I have not got any notice to that, but then, that they are apprehending strike, have allowed strike twice in the, deep, in the deepest part of the, the, the pandemic. Strike went on in the, in the ministry. Did they, did they apprehend it? They rather, they rather solved six out of eight of the problems, the demands of the striking workers then. Uh, we had other uh, people, people other than the uh, Juesu. But whenever it comes to Juesu, they will be quick to now brand up that uh, they have uh, apprehended and they, uh, or they either go and then uh, hire mercenaries in the name of NGOs to go to court and all that. We are, we are expecting all that. We are waiting for them. Because it, it has become very apparent that the patient dog never gets the fattest bone to eat anymore. Rather, patient dogs don't see any bone to eat in the case of Federal Minister of Health, Federal Minister of Labor, because of the high level of bias. Look, on Thursday we met, rather than coming to the table with a sincere heart, open heart, the beginning of the meeting was a threat, a threat to us. And we, are also, we have also told them, and the ne the, the, our neck also looked at all the discussions and they said there is nothing concrete, and truly there is nothing concrete. So whichever way... The last they can do is to threaten us that they want to send, sentence us to prison because we are the only ones that they have taken to court before now. Uh, they, 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 they arraigned us for so-called contempt, but the court never found contempt in what they, they, they arraigned us for. So the best they could do is to still go around that um, wheel and turn the wheel around again to say, okay, 
uh, Juesu has not been very sensitive to the people's uh, problems. Why not solve our problems? COVID-19 allowance, we signed an agreement, section one, uh, uh, paragraph 1A of that agreement stipulates clearly, pay to everybody that was earning 5,000, 50% 50, 50 of his basic. And rather than doing that, they decided to misimplement it and denied our members. Therefore, we complained. And first July, since July, we, the ministry invited us, we debated, and they also saw reasons that All right. we have I'm met I'm afraid we, had, we can't and continue that. any further, but thank you very much, Josiah Bio Belemoye, for your contributions, or rather for the insights you've given us so far on TBC News at 10 tonight.